Hi, welcome back to Joe's Garage. Got another unboxing for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kenwood 10 inch or 25 centimeter Exelon series subwoofer. It's the KFC XW1041. Um, this is going to be for my Corvette project. So, the specifications on this, uh, as I was saying, it's a 10 inch subwoofer, 25 centimeters. The peak power is 1,300 watts. The RMS power is 300 watts per subwoofer at 4 ohm impedance. And it has a frequency response of 33 to 300 hertz. So let's go ahead and get these things opened up and see what they see what they look like and see what's in the box. So inside here, it has a chart for recommended enclosures. Inner volume is 0 0.65 cubic feet or 18.4 liter width, height 375 millimeters or 14 and 3 quarter inch uh, we'll skip over that I've already got the box that I want it's got a template in here if you're designing your own it kind of shows you where to it'll show you where to Drill each of your holes. Well, that's kind of nice. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way though. I'm just going to hold the subwoofer up there, put my screws in. On top here, you have a warranty card. I'll take a look at that later. And you've also got a sheet to show you it's in multiple languages. So each little section. Um, it's a wiring chart if you want to hook up two subs and you're running an amp like I'm going to be the amp that I'm going to be running is uh, 600 watts by one at 2 ohms well these are uh, 300 watt 4 ohm subs but I'm able to wire them together to where they'll be at 2 ohms and since they're 300 a piece that would put me at the 600 watts at 2 ohm rating that the amp has that way we get the most out of the amp and the sub and one's not overpowering the other. Okay. So there's the subwoofer. It's got a nice, I wouldn't call it carbon fiber, but like a diamond shape. Um, on the inside here it says Kenwood down at the bottom and Exelon in the middle. Now I know Exelon is Kenwood's like high end. They use all the the better components and uh, materials to make these. So you have your regular Ken Kenwood brand and then you have the Exelon and then you have the Exelon Reference uh, lineup. And Exelon Reference is the top of the line and this is right there beside it. So this trim ring here um, it doesn't stay on the sub, it actually just comes off. It's a single voice coil, so you've got a, a rather large magnet on the back, but you've only got one set of terminals here. I don't know if you can see it better that way. There's one set of terminals here, and there's nothing on the other side. So it's hook your wires up, and away you go. Um, overall, it's it's real stiff feeling it's brand new you'd expect that um, it looks like it looks like it's got a really good build quality to it it's got a lot of weight to it which I'm a fan of if something has weight to it it doesn't feel cheap to me um, on the back it says Kenwood KFC XW1041 Exelon. It has your 4 ohm rating again. 
it again tells you 1300 watts peak power, 300 watts RMS, impedance of 4 ohm. So this is JVC Kenwood Corporation. Now I've heard that JVC Kenwood uh, kind of teamed up. They're kind of the, the same company now. Um, I don't know when that happened. I'm not against it. I know JVC on their their head units, they really dig into um, like sound quality and uh, putting the power in your hands to, to make adjustments how you want the stereo to sound. So I really like to see that JVC Kenwood is the same company now. So I'll go ahead and get the other one unboxed real quick. I'm not going to talk about it too much because it's the exact same sub, but I just want to see that they're both okay and then we'll get them put in my Corvette. I will, while I have them out, I'll go ahead and grab some wire and I'm going to test the, uh, the impedance. So when I, when I hook them up together, I'm going to check that they're actually 4 ohms and then uh, wire them in a in a way that it brings them down to two ohms. That way when I get it in the car, I know it's gonna be right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, I've got everything set up on my test bench here. So what I've got going on is I've got a set of wires coming out of one subwoofer. Get your red positive, your black negative. And then I've got another one coming out of the other subwoofer, same thing, red positive, black is your negative. And I got my meter set up here for ohms. So I'm gonna take my test prongs from the meter and I'm gonna touch this one. And we should see four ohms, or maybe just slightly above. Let it settle. So there we go, I'm moving around just a little bit, causing it to bounce around, but 4.2, so we've got four ohms. And that's what the subwoofer is supposed to be, is four, four ohms. So if we test the other sub, I'm going to touch these leads over here. Well, if I can get it to quit moving on me. We should see roughly the same thing. So there we have it. One was 4.2, which is four ohms. And here we're bouncing around between 4.1 and 4.2 ohms. So both subs are reading the same. So if you remember, I was saying that my amp is 600 watts at two ohms. So to get the higher rating, the actual 600 watts from the amplifier, 300 for this sub, 300 for the other sub, that's why I'm doing this, we need these subs to read two ohms, not four. So if I connect this sub and that sub together, so basically the wires are now connected here and I'll have a set of uh, speaker wires leading from here to the amplifier. With them connected, I should read two ohms. So I touch there and there. I know my hand's blocking it a little bit. So there we go, we're reading 2.3, 2.4, it's kind of bouncing around, but that's okay, we're reading two ohms. So I'm gonna get the maximum wattage out of the amp like I wanted, so that's gonna be perfect. I know this looks a little confusing, but it's, it's really not. I have a set of wires leading from here to there, a set of wires leading from here to there, and I just connected the two. Um, and in theory, this is where both subs would, the wires from both subs would meet the amp. And you would think of this right here as your amp connection.
So how I have my system set up, my box is in the car. You know, you got your front. I wanted the partition where the window is. I wanted the box to sit flush all the way across. And then the subs right there in the middle. So I wasn't able to make a proper outro on this video uh, I ended up having somebody stop by and I had to stop what I was doing and, and go visit with them for a little while and now I'm putting this video together and I realized that I didn't complete it so I wanted to kind of sum some things up for you and put it into this video and get it uploaded uh, the way that I got the sub set up as I was showing you on the test bench I've got it at uh, each sub is 300 watts and uh, they're four ohm subs, so when you put them together, your ohm load, your impedance is going to be two ohms. Um, if you look on forms like crutchfield.com, what you want to do if you're running two subs is you want to take your RMS wattage of each sub and add them together. So each sub is 300 watts RMS plus the other sub 300 watts RMS, you get a total power output of 600 watts RMS. And uh, you want to look for an amp that can match that 600 watts RMS within the range that the sub can handle, which is your ohms. So 2 ohms, 4 ohms, some subs can do 8 or 16 ohms. In my case, it's uh, 2 ohms. They're either 4 ohms by themselves at 300 watts. Or if I put them both together, it's going to create a load of 2 ohms. And the total output, 300 and 300 is 600. So I want to get an amp that's 600 watts RMS at 2 ohms. That's the amp that I'm wanting to look for. I'm also going to be doing door speakers and rear speakers. So I'm doing a 6 channel amp. It'll be able to handle 60 or 80 watts per speaker in, in your doors and in the rear of the car plus 600 watts RMS power at 2 ohms for the subwoofer itself. So that's why I chose the amp that I chose. Um, I don't have it yet, so this video I'm not able to power these subs up and give you a demo. Um, I will be doing that in the, the video that I'll make for the installing the amp and getting the amp set up, make sure there's no clipping, uh, everything is running smoothly the way that it should. So if you want to see these subs, um, firing and my take on on how good or bad they are um, check that video out it'll be coming up probably within a week or two of this videos upload so thanks for watching and I uh, hope you come back